Hey guys, it's TNN and today we are going to unbox and have an overview of the LG Q6 Plus. Now there's various versions of this phone out there, there's the Q6 Plus, the standard Q6 and also the Q6A and the Plus variant is the best one of all three of it and I find it's one of the most underrated phones out there right now in 2017-2018 sort of era. One of the most underrated phones, I think it's one of the greatest phones, one of the best prices as well. And in this video, we're going to unbox it and we're just going to have a look at a quick overview of it. And hopefully, in a few days' time, uh, I'll see if I can review it as well. So, here it is, it comes in a box, it doesn't say LG around it at all. Actually, all I see is the Q6 Plus written on top. Um, it is a really, really nice, sleek looking box, honestly. Um, we got a uh, power by Qualcomm Snapdragon written on the side, so this does have a Snapdragon 435 processor, so it is quite a powerful phone. We've got 64 gigabytes written on top, so it comes with 64 gigs of internal storage, so that's definitely competing with the Samsung S8 Plus, the Note 8, you know, some of the high end phones, iPhone X, iPhone 8s, they all come with 64 gigs of memory, so does this phone here. Uh, we've got LG electronics written on the back, LG, blah 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 blah. blah. On the side, we got uh, for use, certified use in Hong Kong, so this is the Chinese version. Um, I did get it from China because you can't actually get the Q6 Plus in the UK, you do have to buy it abroad. Otherwise, the normal standard Q6 you can purchase it in the UK and even in UK stores like Carphone Warehouse. Um, so it comes with this lovely, lovely cloth written on top, so it's really, really classy premium look they've gone for. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Um, the price of this actually is what really shocks me, so I got it for under £200. Look at that, under £200, the Q6 Plus. So, really, really powerful phone. I mean, it comes with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal. I mean, the normal Q6 version that you can purchase in the UK uh, only comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and 3 gigs of RAM. That's the standard Q6, but this is the Q6 Plus. We're going to have a look at the phone a little bit, so we're going to move to the side right now, have a look at what else is in the box. Uh, boo, 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 boo. We got a quick start guide. We have a SIM tray opener, warranty card, you know, all your basic manual really that you need. Don't really need these now. I mean, most smartphones are pretty much standard the same day. It does come with a UK plug. That's quite interesting, actually. I do like the fact that it did come with a UK plug. That's awesome. Uh, we got the micro USB to USB cable. So, another downside of this phone is. It's not USB-C, I mean, I really would have helped LG put USB-C on this phone, but they didn't, they put micro USB, uh, would definitely have been 10 out of 10, a lot better if they put USB-C, I mean, all new premium phones now should have USB-C, but they didn't go with it for this one for some reason. Uh, inside the box of earphones, we have some really, really standard, really standard cheap earphones, I mean, honestly, it's just straight up standard cheap earphones, completely, completely cheap. Um, they're the hard plastic, not even uh, the soft bud earbuds, so completely pointless that. Let's try and pop that back in the box, but nice that it does come with earphones. I mean, most phones now don't really sometimes come with earphones, so it's nice that it does come with that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clear this up and have a closer look at the phone now. So here we have the phone. Let's go ahead and let's take out this wrapping that it comes in. And this is the black version of the Q6. Need that wrapper out of the way, and here it is. It's very fingerprint magnet screen already. I have barely touched it, and it's already fingerprint magneted on it as well. We've got LG right at the bottom of the screen over here. A uh, very, very glossy screen. Uh, it is all round display, and that's what's really unique about this phone. So it's just like you know, all the other premium phones. So LG are one of the first to actually do the all round displays and remove the buttons. Actually, Saying that, I mean, one of the big brands to do it. I mean, Sharp was probably the first one that done it all around edge to edge display, but and LG was one of the big brands that done it. But Samsung was the only one that actually got recognition for it. I really do feel LG is really underrated. So, this is a 5.5 inch 1080p by 2160 pixels. So, it is just a little bit over 1080p full HD. So, it's sort of quad HD display. Um, it does come pre installed with LG UI 5.0. And that's on Android 7.1.1, so one of the greatest um, premium devices probably out there with a really low cost. Uh, so it is front glass. Uh, we do have Gorilla Glass 3 on here. 
on on the side is the aluminium frame going all the way around but on the back the back is what's really really a downside it is you know plastic I'm sure you can hear it it is plastic and it does get really really easily scratched and damaged so I would definitely put a case on this I mean the back of this phone is what's really a let down uh, I'm sure you guys probably hear my cuckoo clock in the background just clocking away but we're going to carry on talking anyway uh, I'm just going to put the video on pause uh, let the clock just quack away really Decided to shut up we can go ahead and talk more about the phone now so this is the dual sim version so it's dual nano sim uh, you can also get single sim so in the UK it will be single sim ones but if you buy it abroad like the Q6 plus they come with dual sim uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was the dimension so it is 142 um, in millimeters 142.5 millimeters by 69.3 millimeters by 8.1 millimeters so it's 8.1 millimeters thick so that's really, really nice and it weighs only 149 grams uh, because of the plastic back at the front it does feel really really lightweight but the aluminium on the side makes it feel like a really strong premium device which is actually what I like about this so it does come with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 435 um, an octa-core 1.4 gigahertz Cortex A53 processor and a GPU Adreno 505 so if you're not sure what I'm talking about uh, it's a very fast phone basically 4 gigs of RAM 64 gigabytes of internal storage you can do multitasking on this you can do YouTube you can do through gaming you can do multitasking it will handle your easy easy with ease day to day basis and probably even more so it's quite a premium phone and like I say it's probably really really close to competing with the Samsung Galaxy S8 but the price is just half of that uh, at the back we do have a 13 megapixel camera with a f2.2 lens autofocus and also LED flash right next to it as well uh, very very good camera uh, it also films 1080p 30 per second so it's not a 4k camera but it's still a really nice camera and the front is a 5 megapixel camera as well so that's really really nice inside the battery is what really really I mean it's pretty much standard the battery on the phone I mean it's a 3000 milliamp battery so pretty much really standard on most phones and that's pretty much it with this phone I mean it comes in various various different colors so it comes in the black uh, platinum white and gold this is the black one I mean because it's plastic I thought the black one would look best instead of the other colors because I don't know it probably just wouldn't stand out uh, now the back is not actually removable so they've just done a plastic back but you can't even like clip it off or anything like that I mean let's have a look I don't think you really can clip it off because there's no like option there to clip it off so they've just done a plastic back just put the cost down really um, I mean it really has put the cost down it does still feel and look like a premium device but it keeps the cost down having a plastic back uh, we do have the speaker on the front here and some proximity sensors and uh, let's go ahead and let's power it on so it, screen is a right fingerprint magnet I'll tell you that uh, let me just give it a wipe let's let it power on and in the meantime let's do some close up shots of it cool so it's just you know going through the loading up page uh, pretty much the initial setup welcome uh, it's set to English South Africa let's change it to uh, United Kingdom it's quite a nice smooth phone I mean it looks really unique because it's got curved around the edges on display so it's all curved round I mean it says insert sim card we're gonna skip that uh, connected to the Wi-Fi and you can see over here we've got the back buttons, we've got the back, uh, these ones are faded off yet because they're not an option yet, but you get home, menu and also sim card switch as well. So this is really really nice, I mean I'm going to set the phone up later on anyway and then hopefully we can do a review as well. So we've got the aluminium frame on the side, we've got the power on, power off, lock and unlock button. Uh, we've got this small line going around here, so these are what you, you, know, you find on a lot of phones nowadays, I mean they're actually for antennas. Uh, they started off on the Apple phones really uh, sort of become like a fashion design now as well but most smartphones will get this especially ones with aluminium framing all around these are all spaces for antennas at the top over here we seem to be what's probably a microphone at the top doesn't look like an IR remote or anything like that probably just a microphone 
I've got the volume up and volume down. Over here we've got two trays here, we've got to see which one's which. At the bottom we've probably got the other main microphone here, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack. Again, another one of those lines probably for antennas again. So it's got a lot of antennas around this phone, so you probably get good reception and good Wi-Fi signal. We do have a micro USB port over here, which was one of the main downsides really. I mean, I was sort of hoping more of a uh, USB-C type port, but it came out with micro USB plastic back with the camera at the back over here and that's pretty much it with the overall we got some you know CE stamps and do not bin because the batteries inside of this is not removable uh, and we've got some sensors at the top over here you can see over here blinking already the sensors are already powered on blinking and there you go that's it with the phone with the LG logo at the bottom it does look like a really nice premium device what's good about this is the body to screen ratio so it's a really small compact device yeah, it still has that huge 5.5 inch screen, that's what's really, really nice about it. So that is it with this video, it's just an unboxing and an overview of this phone. Hopefully, uh, soon maybe I'll get done with you. Um, to be honest, I don't really need this phone, um, so I might even do a giveaway, so stay tuned. I mean, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, um, the notification button. So it's a little bell near the subscribe button, make sure you hit that so you get notified when I do upload a video and if I do give away this phone, because I don't really need it, I mean I do have this one here, so this is a beast, this is the LG V20, uh, but you can see the size difference from my one and this one over here, they're both really fingerprint magnet -y, but my one's a lot, lot bigger, so it's a 5.7 inch screen, my one, uh, it also hasn't got the, you know, the ratio thing all around, it's got a lot of spacing all around it as well, but this is my one and I'll put magnet at the back. But yeah, stay tuned for that guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, thanks for watching this video, hopefully this video was quite useful, uh, I may also do some camera tests between this one and my V20 as well, I know why I said I was going to review the V20, I never got to doing it, so I will do it, it's actually a really good phone, uh, actually one of my favourites as well, so I'm hoping the Q6 Plus will be one of my favourite phones as well, and if I do like it that much and I don't really need it, I will be giving it away to one of you guys, so stay tuned for that, and as always, peace out guys.